Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome, welcome back to uh, Summer Camp Architect. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you happen to be, because I'm certainly excited to be back. There have been some changes since the last time we were here. There's a lot of grass everywhere, you might be able to tell. Uh, that's kind of like the only major change to be fair. Aside from a couple of escapes here and there, a couple of deaths here and there, but you know, the usual for... I, well, I say deaths, when I when I say deaths, I mean... Uh, well, when I say escapes, I mean people running down to the corner store to buy a bottle of booze as they do the summer camp. But when I say deaths, I mean their, um, their official records at the camp are considered dead as their parents have permanently taken them out of the program, okay? Uh, moving swiftly on from that, though, it's kind of just been the usual. We do have 150 workmen now, though. That is something that I did, and that's something that I'm going to stand by. I also put a little entrance down here, because this is a nice quick way to get out to exports, which are way down here. And you'll notice we have almost $400,000 because of exports. There were a lot, I mean a lot, of trees in all of this space. And this area down here has been cleared out probably twice. So, money's kind of not an issue. So with that in mind, I kind of want to start building some stuff down here. And I'm kind of thinking part of that's going to be a workshop. Part of that's going to be classrooms. We want to build, I want to build something that resembles like a high school. I know that's weird for a summer camp, but I want to build something that resembles a high school. Because we can do classrooms we can do staff rooms, we can do a cafeteria, we can do all that stuff, and also have the workshops in there. So that's kind of what I want to start doing, because I think that's going to be hilarious. So one, two, three, four, five, and that spot, so take those out. And let's say that the cafeteria is going to go on this side. So we're going to go 20, we can maybe go, I don't know, let's say 14 there. And let's just say that can be it's a little bit smaller but that can be a cafeteria i think up here i want to do a decent sized kitchen in comparison to the cafeteria because this kitchen over here is actually a little bit too small i think for the canteen that we have so that's that's an unfortunate thing that seems to be a thing now in terms of doing like corridors and stuff like that i'm thinking what i want to do is a nice big corridor across here. So we'll go 34. We'll go 34. And I'm thinking we'll do like a, a staff area up here, right? So that's going to be access to the kitchen. But we can also maybe do a staff room back here. It doesn't need to be anything too crazy. But it can just be like a, you know, kind of a generic little staff room. And I am doing like, you know, these weird shapes and all that stuff on purpose. Because I kind of want there to be some shape to this, right? So that can be like a staff room. And then I think what I'll do is I want to put another cleaning cupboard in here. So that's going to be, what is that? That is 9 by 15. So if we go another 9 by 15, we can do a cleaning cupboard. We can do more laundry, which is maybe a bit weird, but that's probably okay. That's probably not the worst thing in the world to have. And then I think what I'd like to do is have the workshop kind of be here. So it's going to be pretty huge. Right? It's going to be all this space. We're going to have some storage area back there. Which I think we can do like this kind of thing with. So that's going to be like some kind of storage area. We can do tables across here or something. So that's... Yeah, I think tables will work really well in here actually. So we can do some tables in there for storage. That'll be fine. Then the main sort of bulk of the workshop is going to be here. So... That'll be okay. That'll give us some job space. But I do also want to do, like, the classroom space that I was talking about. So if I go to and up like this, that's going to be sort of another corridor, which is fine. And then this space over here is 20... Or, sorry, 14 by 29. So if we were to go down here and go like that and go across, that's going to be... 14 by 29 so 29 so if i go 14 in so if i go 14 so that's our midpoint which is fine and that could be two classrooms on its own 
that absolutely could be two classrooms all on its own. But I don't know if I want to do that. I don't know if I want that to be, you know, just two giant classrooms. I'm slightly tempted to do some smaller ones because we have six there and we have six there. So something like that might be better. Maybe just four smaller classrooms for the, the high school area, which is still really weird to say, but that's that's fine. We can also do a yard in front of this, which is kind of exciting. So I think that'll work. I'm thinking that it's it's a bit of a weird looking building already, but it'll probably be okay. Uh, we're gonna have our workshop. We're gonna have cleaning staff room. We have cafeteria. We have kitchen. We have like a little storage area here. I'm trying to figure out what else I could do with it though, like shape wise, because we could probably do something kind of fun with it. So what if I was to say that we go? So what? Is, what is this? This is eight by fourteen. So if I did another one, I we're never gonna need all of these. But if I did another one there and extend this corridor up a little bit. What else could I put in here? Because I do want to put more things. I guess an infirmary might be a bit of an idea. So what if we did like a small sort of infirmary thing there? And we just have this like corridor. In fact, what if we did the infirmary like as, as having its own little corridor space? That might not be a bad idea. So that's going to have like a little, little bit of an offshoot there for a tiny little infirmary. Just in case someone needs to go see a nurse. We could also do showers. I don't really think we're going to need that, though. Uh, we could do something like a chapel if we really wanted to. A common room is probably not a bad idea either. So let's just plan out a common room that can go. Uh, let's see. I think a common room could go like here, although that's a little bit far forward. I think that's maybe a little far forward. I'm not 100 percent sure. I'm also noticing that, you know, what? let's do a common room here. That's going to be 14 by 14. Let's extend this over. And then we've got like this corridor that goes around this center block. And that should be okay. Uh, then the infirmary can also just be taken out and moved over here. And this corridor can be extended up to there. And then the yard can go in like this space, which should be totally fine. Right? I think I think that'll work. I think we could maybe also do, you know, something a bit more interesting with it, but that'll, that'll do. It's a weird building. It's not actually anything fancy at all, but it will do. So let's start building it. Let's see what we can do here. What I'm thinking is it's pretty much going to be entirely brick. And I'm kind of completely fine with that. I think brick is, is a pretty solid. I was, I was about to say brick is a pretty solid building material. I mean, that's, that's kind of a given. That's kind of why brick is is used as a building material, I suppose. So that might be a little bit of a uh, might be a little bit of a redundant statement, if I'm totally honest. Oh yeah, brick, that's pretty solid, right? Hey, that's that's yeah, that's that's just, that's a thing I said. Alrighty, let's start getting some paths in here as well. We'll try and get those done sort of ahead of time. So I'm thinking we're just gonna do a path that goes straight up like this. And then has these bits going down the side like this and like this as well. I don't think we're going to do anything too crazy with the quote high school style building. I don't really think we need to. Uh, we could maybe put like a fence around the yard and that stuff. And honestly, this, I mean, does it need its own power source? It's probably not going to. It's probably going to be fine. So we'll just let my 150 workers build this is essentially what I'm saying. And just to make sure they build it quickly, we're going to prioritize it so that, again, my 150 workmen uh, can actually manage this. Which really, I, you know what, just because I can, just just because we have $350,000, let's go up to a, a nice solid, let me see here, 200, there we go, 200 workmen. Let's see how quickly those guys do stuff. Because again, I imagine it's going to be pretty quick. I imagine it's not going to take long at all for 200 workmen to, well, do anything. Uh, although I would, thinking about it, I would like to just continue the stone around all of this. Because that's the thing I've been doing on a lot of the buildings, if not all of the buildings here in the camp. Which, I, I say camp, it's not sort of a summer school, but that's fine as well. Uh, either way, I've been putting stone around all of my buildings because I think it just kind of looks neat. So, just going to continue that trend a little bit. 
and also uh, just continue to bring the stone down here and then the paving stones through the middle there because they're not all done yet. There we go. So that should look pretty good when it's done. This is actually coming along so quickly. It's fantastic. Well, let me go ahead and get a... Yeah, we're going to put a large... We're going to put a large door on that. And I'm thinking we might also want to do like a dedicated security area. I think we are going to need to do that. So what I'm going to do is go to concrete here. And I want to do like a little, I think like a little seven by seven room should be fine. I think I can make that work. So we'll do like a little security room there so that it can be dedicated to the cameras, the, the door servos, to all that stuff. I think that's going to be for the best. Because there's actually going to be quite a few of those, to be totally honest. Just to make sure that everything is, you know, safe, essentially. Uh, so that's 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 probably going to be a thing we want. Now, let's see here. These rooms are, I believe there were six across. So what we're going to want to do is doors essentially right in the middle of all of these. And again, these are all going to be classrooms. I know that's excessive, but I just think... That's going to be for the best. Uh, now, the door for the workshop, I think, can honestly go... I'm thinking up there, honestly, for the door for the workshop. I'm thinking these rooms down here can have the doors, well, down here. And they're also different sizes, aren't they? That is, what, seven? That one is... No, they're not different sizes. That's fine. So, those can go down there. This is going to be a staff room. So, what I'm thinking for this is... Let's... Well, let's start putting the walls in. Let's do white walls for everything in here because I think that's going to look kind of nice. So we'll do white walls and all of these. Going to need to run lights into all these rooms as well. But I think what I want to do for the staff room is essentially sort of double it up a little bit. Kind of have a little bit of extra security on that. So we'll have a, you know, a jail door with a servo out front and then... A regular door on the inside. I know that's not really needed, but I think it's probably a, a decent idea. So something like that, basically, and that'll let us into the staff room. We've had f really? Oh my god! There's another tunnel. There's been so many tunnels. Like I, I, I've not done a whole lot between episodes. I want to clarify that. Like I've really not done you know, an enormous amount of stuff between episodes. What I have seen, though, is a stupid number of uh, of escapes. I mean that in the nicest way. I love this game, but good lord, they don't want to be here. Uh, let me go and just remove that tunnel and make that a priority. And you know what? Shake done. It's time. We're doing a shake done. We're just going to search everything. We have 1,088 places that we need to be searching here. We're going to do that is what we're going to do. Uh, now, let's go ahead and get a jail door on there. Then we can get that up and running. Uh, all of this is going in as well. So, while that's happening, let's start putting the lights in. So, we're just going to sort of do this same pattern the entire way down here. So, each of these rooms will have four lights. And I think that'll be enough. If it isn't, we can fix it. If it is, then great. We'll do some lights in all the corners around here too. I think that is the middle between those. It absolutely is. So we'll do a light up here as well. And then I want to do just lights in the corners in there just to keep it nice and bright. And uh, maybe there, there, and there as well. So that should brighten that up. Staff room is going to be kind of a similar story. We'll just sort of put lights like that. Then in here, we should be able to manage with uh, something a bit like that. So that'll brighten that space up. Up here, similar story to the classrooms. Just going to be doubled up a little bit. These rooms are just hopefully going to get away with four lights. And then I could do a bunch in the middle, but I'm not going to bother. This room should be fine with four as well. And then the cafeteria is going to need a few more than four lights. But I'm sure I can manage. So one, two, three, four, and there. One, two, three, fourth, and there. And uh, we'll sort of double up the middle a little bit. And maybe just 
you know, throw a bunch of lights in like that as well. So that'll be everywhere lit up except for the corridors. I'm guessing the shakedown went pretty well. How many people have we got waiting for solitary? 30 in solitary, one waiting, 32 in lockdown. Okay. So that's not really as bad as I thought it would be. I'll be honest. I, I figured it would be a fair bit worse based on the number of people that keep trying to escape. Nice to know that it's uh nice to know that it went a bit better than I expected. I'll 100% take that. Let's get some lights up here too. So that'll be all the lights sorted for that area. We can do one light in there. Oh my God, really? What is going on? They just killed an armed guard. Oh. I mean, at least we got the shotgun back. That could have been so much worse. Oh, that could have been so much worse. We need to get another one of those guys. Good Lord. There you go, bud. Welcome to the team. Don't ask about what happened to the guy that was here before you. Better to, uh, better to just live in ignorance is what I'm going to tell you there. That's, uh, just better that you don't know. You know, the more, the more you ask about him, the more you're going to doubt yourself. And believe me, in this job, you don't want to doubt yourself. That, that's a thing. That's, you know, you're, you're in here dealing with some pretty, uh, riled up campers. You know, that's, that's what you're dealing with. You want to be careful. You do want to be careful. Anyway, let's go ahead and designate this as a security room. We are going to need to put an office desk up here. We are going to need a chair. We are going to need a filing cabinet. And then I want a door control system there. I want CCTV there. And I reckon I, reckon I can get another door control system there. So that's what that room's gonna be in its entirety. That is gonna be a, yeah, it's, it's gonna be a lot, is is what that's gonna be. But uh, I want all of that in there because I basically want to make sure that this entire space is controlled, at least in terms of security, by the one security room. So while we're waiting for that to get built, let's go ahead and start running some electrical cable into this space. So that's going to go down through all of the corridors and across like this. Uh, we can run a cable down through the middle of the rooms a bit like this as well. And then maybe we could probably get away with doing this kind of thing here and uh, probably this kind of thing here. So that'll give electrical coverage to that entire space, which is going to be absolutely fantastic. In the meantime, I do want to make sure that this is set to staff only. Every single bit of that is going to be staff only. Same with the security room there. That way, we don't have to worry about anyone coming down here trying to clean it, which would be kind of a disaster. We can also go ahead and throw on a door servo there. Try and get that done as soon as possible so we can get that uh, controlled. And maybe it would also be worth saying lock that door open in the meantime. Uh, just, you know, to be sure. In fact, looking at it, we're probably just going to want to say, you know, put some guards down here. But I'm sure we'll manage. Although speaking of, well, camp counselors, we have 73. I want 100 of them. Let's go up to a solid 100 right there. Because again, we have the money. Why not? We're also maybe going to want to go into... What am I looking for here? Programs, is it? Guard taser certification. Led by a chief in a classroom. Okay. So that's what I'm thinking right there. I'm thinking, I'm thinking guard taser certification is the thing that I'm going to, I'm going to want. So we're going to need to get these classrooms set up. So let's go in and say classroom. This right here. And it's going to need an office desk right at the front there. Uh, it's going to need school desks, which can go a bit like this, I suppose. And honestly, that's probably fine. That's that's not going to be too crazy. And I think that's probably going to be for the best. Uh, we can also do CCTV there and there in each of the rooms. And we're also probably going to want door servos on each of the doors so something a bit like that so we'll get that all put together and then we can copy and paste that 
including flooring, I guess. And I'm thinking the flooring for the classrooms can be fancy tiles because why not? I, th I think fancy tiles is maybe the way to go for the classrooms. And then maybe for the hallways, we could do, I think, wooden floor for the hallways. Honestly, I've got the money, so I'm gonna. I do love the look of a, of a good wooden floor. Especially for what is essentially a high school, so why not? Uh, $50 per square for ceramic floors. I'm gonna do it in the workshop, because I, again, I can afford it, so why not? We'll throw that in there. Uh, in here is going to be white tiles. Inside the staff room is going to be wooden floor. Inside the kitchen is going to be checkered floor. Uh, we could maybe do... I don't know. Let's do ceramic in the canteen as well. And then this room was uh, a common room. So that can be... I'm thinking wood. And then I'm thinking white tiles for the infirmary up there. And that should be fantastic. I think that's going to look great, though, honestly. I really do. I also really want to prioritize getting electricity done here because I want to get these door servos working is, is what I want to do. So if we could do that, that would be great. And then we can set up a bunch of programs, a bunch of guards, and I'm thinking we can do some pretty cool stuff here, honestly. I really genuinely, genuinely think we can do some cool stuff here. Uh, so door control system, connect it to there, connect it to there. And then uh, CCTV monitor, we're probably gonna, we're probably gonna need another one of those. In fact, we're really gonna need another one of those. Uh, let me just expand this room a little bit. So let me do that. And let me prioritize it, because that actually really needs to be done. I'm, we're really going to need more CCTV. Like, really badly. <laughs> we're really, really badly going to need more CCTV. Uh, so connect you. So you're connected to both of those. You're going to be connected to the classrooms, I think. And that'll give us pretty solid coverage in all of those. Uh, this electrical cable is waiting to be installed, which is fair enough. But that should be pretty good for us there. I'm thinking. And also, is this actually built? Because if it is, I'd really like to, uh, let me see here, security and, you know, that, basically. Are we, are we going to build this? There's like one bit not done. There you go. Is it done now? There it is. So connect those together into one bigger security room. We'll do some nice wooden floors in there because we might as well. And then, like I said, I just want another CCTV monitor done there. And we really might need another one. Like, there's a solid chance we could use another one. So we'll do that. We'll put another door control system there, too. So install all of that. And then we should be golden. It's looking as well like all of the utilities barring that one are actually in here. So let's get that prioritized. And there we go. So this entire place has power. The classroom's ready to go. So let's go to quick build. Let me go to clone. Let me grab all of that, and we're just going to paste that the entire way down, just like that. Then we go in with door servos, and we're going to need a bunch of these. We're going to need so, so many of these for this entire area, but we'll get a bunch there. Uh, this one's going to go there. This one, I don't know what direction this door is going to open. I'm going to assume that way. Uh, this one and this one. This one, I don't know either, so I'm just going to throw it down that way. Uh, same with here and same with there. So a whole bunch of door servos need to go in. They're probably all going to need power, but we'll prioritize all of that work, even though I know that, you know, prioritizing everything is kind of redundant because you're, you know, it's, they're just going to do it all at the same time anyway, but whatever. We'll get all that done. We can go in and we can say, let's see, workshop is going to be this space. So that's our workshop. This can be cleaning cupboard, and this is going to be cleaning cupboard number three. And then this one is going to be laundry number three. Up above is going to be staff room number three, which I think is going to be fantastic to have. Uh, this up here is going to be kitchen number three, which is also going to be fantastic to have. Uh, and then canteen number two, actually, is what this is going to be. Totally fine by me. 
up here is going to be common room number two as well and then infirmary number three goes up here now what i'm thinking just looking at all the rooms we have i want to expand the the, the high school i guess at some point because we can do a shop which i think will be good and also the mail room i think both of those could probably go in here so that is uh that is probably gonna be a thing now let's go ahead and connect the cctv monitor to all of you i think they can monitor six at a time so that one's pretty much maxed out this one is going to be connected to these guys down here and then what i'm thinking is that we could do two more in the common room i think that's probably a pretty good spot for them so like there and there for those cctv monitors also you guys are gonna need some electrical cables so let's get that done and then are you you're not overloaded yet are you you're getting there but you're fine for the time being let's go ahead and throw in some metal detectors as well just to be sure that people aren't smuggling things in here they shouldn't be and there's only one way in one way out so regardless i mean you know they might get into trouble while they're at high school but oh this could go so this this the, okay let me um this could this could this could get really dark um like on a serious note I'm gonna stop calling this a high school because I it's just hit me how like inappropriate and insensitive that is. Yikes! That's 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 gonna be a yikes right there. Is what that's gonna be. Oh jeez. Oh boy. Um. Hmm. Yeah. Let's move swiftly. This is a um. This is a. This is a. What what are we gonna call this? What are we gonna call this? We're gonna call this a uh super happy fun time summer camp is is what it's gonna be that's all it is that's all it is that's all i'm ever gonna call this because wow that um yeah that is a uh <laughs> oh it's a yikes that's a big I, I don't, I'm not, I don't often do the whole, like, oh, it's a big yikes from me, dog, thing, but, oh, boy, oh, no, really? Oh, boy. Well, someone's, uh, two? What do you mean, two? What do you mean, two? Oh, my God. Okay, I, hold on. Oh, there's a fight going on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, guards? Guards? <laughs> Guards! Get in there! He just... He just beat... Oh, boy. He just... He just got himself 107 hours in solitary confinement is what he got. That is... um, That's considerable. That is... That is a considerable uh, amount of... Uh, amount of time right there. That's, uh, well, yeah, that, 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 that right there, I guess, is going to be a, uh, a, a yikes from me is, is what that's going to be. That is definitely, I think yikes is, is probably the appropriate response. It might, I probably, actually, you know what? Yikes probably isn't the appropriate response there, but whatever. It is the response that we're getting. Uh, let me go ahead and throw in a bunch of workshop stuff here as well. I'm not really sure how much of this we're ever going to need because I'm not really sure how many people are ever going to work in here is is the thing so let's start with the soul let's throw a couple of presses in here as well and then the carpenter stuff can probably go like over here we are probably going to have a lot of room for carpentry since we get a lot of wood around here so let's throw a bunch of tables down the middle for storage as well. And that should uh, that should be pretty good for uh, for a workshop. Cleaning cover doesn't need anything. Laundry is going to need laundry machines. So we'll do a big old row of those. Uh, we'll do a bunch of laundry baskets sort of in and around the middle. And then we'll do some ironing boards sort of done like that. And that should be totally fine. We are going to need water down here. So let's run some of that from there i guess we'll just run it direct is there a different type of wall there 
Is that is that concrete I'm looking at? Is that a concrete wall? Is that I'm not really sure. Not really sure what's going on with the walls there, but that'll be fine. Uh the kitchen's gonna need a bunch of things as well. So let's throw in a couple of sinks either side. Let me throw in a bunch of fridges. Honestly, I'm gonna do so many fridges. So a bunch like that. And then the cookers, I'm wanting to do one, two, three, one, two, three. And that'll probably be fine. I think we can make that work. We'll do a couple of bins at either side and maybe a couple of bins in here or something, but we'll figure that out. Let me do some serving tables as well. We're also probably gonna want a door, thinking about it. So a couple of serving tables with a staff door there. And I'm thinking a bin like next to it all. And then it's just tables and chairs the whole way down, isn't it? So that, that, and that, I guess? Is that gonna work? No, that's gonna like block up the floor. Interesting. Um. Okay, what if we shift these in a little bit? I guess that works. So let's just do tables and chairs the whole way down like that. And then it's just benches the whole way across, isn't it? Yeah, that, that works perfectly. So that's just gonna be a decent sized canteen. Nothing too crazy. We could maybe do some serving tables down by the bottom as well with another couple of uh, another couple of bins down there. We can also do a serving table in the staff room. I'm thinking with a bin as well, just to be sure. We can throw, I'm thinking, let's see here. Let's do a couple of large sofas with a nice large TV. We'll do a couple of regular sofas behind them. Another couple of regular sofas and then a bunch of arcade cabinets. We're gonna want some drinks machines. And that should be totally fine. So that'll be our staff room. That seems actually really nice to be honest. And this is coming together pretty well. Like, I mean, it's, it's getting there. It's definitely getting there. Now let's see, medical beds. One, two, and three. One, two, and three, there we go. That was actually really easy. That was, that was really easy. I like it. Okay. Common room. What do we need? I guess kind of whatever we want. So let's do a couple of pool tables. Because we might as well. We can do... I'm thinking a couple of sofas. Either side of the, uh, the pool tables. I'm thinking we could do a couple of sofas in the middle as well. And maybe there and there too. What else? What else can go in a common room? Like, what else would they want? I guess, like, phones and TVs and stuff like that? So let's just... I don't know, do... Some radios or something. So, like, a radio there. A radio there. And a wide sofa there. Oh, we just ran out of power. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. That's bad. Um... Did we really, we really just overloaded that, didn't we? Okay, I'll tell you what we need to do then. Um, we need to dismantle this. And I'm thinking that we need to go in and say, so what size does this need to be? This needs a uh, three by three, so five by five. Uh, okay, what is this right here? That is nine by nine. Okay. So let me go to concrete. What size is this? Okay, that's interesting. Uh, let me do this right here. And that should be fine. We can do our power for this building, like, in a dedicated space, is what I'm thinking. So let me go and switch that back on. And some- wow, that went down, like, 50%. This thing took half of the available power for that plant. That's ridiculous. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. That's, uh, that's a little bit silly, but all right. We'll just get this up and running. Everything's going to be fine. Let me throw a staff door uh, there. And we're also going to need to put a wall back in here because that concrete wall is going to get uh, demolished once this thing is finalized. At least I think. Yeah, there it goes. So we'll just put a wall back in there. We're going to go to utilities. We're going to go to power station right in the middle and just capacitors the entire way around it. And uh, that should be fine. That right there should be everything we need. 
So let's prioritize it. Let's get the new station in there. Let's get this thing powered and like give it a dedicated uh, power line as well, which is a little bit crazy. But that's fine. We'll make it work. Let's also run, I'm thinking, a perimeter wall right there. Because I think that'll look kind of interesting. And you know what? We're going to run a perimeter wall right there as well. We're going to surround this thing a little bit. Because we have, like, this office up front. So, why not? We're using... We're actually using half the power of that as well. That is crazy. That is crazy to me that we're using that much power. Oh, my God. Like, what are... We, so, I guess we just have a lot of things in here, right? I guess that's just kind of the way of it. Like, these things are all power. These things over here need dedicated power. I guess it makes sense, doesn't it? That really, like, does make a lot of sense. That is that is crazy to me. Okay, that's fine. We've, uh, we've almost got this working regardless, so... No big deal. What's up with you? Guard required to operate. I'd really like to make those priority jobs, I'm going to be honest. I feel like they should be. You know, they should be something that we prioritize. Anyway. Anyway, I think I think we're at a spot here where we can start making some interesting decisions. First off, ceramic floor in there, please, and uh, fancy tiles in all of those. But we can start making some decisions Is is what I'm thinking. Because we are pretty much able to get this up and running, right? I mean, if I go to staff and I say, you know, put a couple of a couple of doctors in there. I said a couple. We'll do two more. Why not? So we have a couple of doctors in there. Let's go to deployment and say that at all times we're going to have two guards in there. Uh, let's say we're going to have a guard patrol. Essentially this entire area, right? At all times, because this is going to be a pretty pretty busy area i'm thinking so we'll do like one two three four five guards i'm thinking during work hours which is when i'm going to try and schedule the classrooms we're going to have two guards per classroom we're going to need four guards there one in there one in there and then i don't know do we always have someone in the canteen no but during these hours we do and then during these hours, I don't really know what that one's for. I don't remember. Interesting. But we only... Okay, so during this time... Which, thinking about it... Hold on a minute. Guard patrols. So we we do have 24-7 patrols, is what I'm noticing. So deployment here, take them out, and then just say whenever, is what I'm thinking there. So... At all times, I want guards in that canteen. At all times, I want guards in there. And then during work hours, I'll we'll have guards in the classrooms, and that should be fine, right? So that that should work, is what I'm thinking. That should totally work. That's a lot of guards, but I think we can make that work. So, with that in mind, let me prioritize the bit of work that needs done down here, whatever it may be. We... Oh, I need to run water differently now, don't I? Okay. Let's run this. Just the entire way run. That needs to run... Oh, I could have just run it that way, actually. But whatever. We're doing it this way, I guess. That's fine. Uh, but this is all powered. We have plenty of people in here. Uh, we just need to get the water. And then it is set. So, what I'm going to do is say, go to logistics. We're going to put the maximum number of jobs that we can in here. The maximum number of jobs in here. And uh, obviously, obviously all of this is staff only right now, but we can fix that. Just like so. Uh, this is still going to be staff only. That's fine. But the rest of this is essentially going to be shared. So that is fine. We have people that can work down here as well, which I think is really exciting. Uh, let's not lock you open anymore. And I guess at this point, we go to programs. We figure out what we're doing with the classrooms. So... Workshop safety induction. Let's start that. It's from 11 until 7. And our protected hours are 11 until... Or sorry, 11 until 1. So that's fine. Workshop safety induction in the morning. That is totally fine by me. Uh, carpentry, no one cares. Foundation education. Now that is something I am interested in. 
So let's throw that up there. 11 until 2. And sure, that'll be fine. Behavioral therapy is something I want to throw in there as well. I want to throw in alcoholics group therapy. And I want to throw in the guard taser certification. I want to throw that in as well. And let's go to the schedule. So what I'm thinking is that we need to figure out which room is which. Now, can I make this smaller? Is that an option? No, I can move it around though. Uh, so let's move it down here real quick. And, uh, oh my God. Uh, so parole hearings are fine. Guard taser certification. I'm actually going to move that to be like one in the morning. I think that's probably a good idea. Uh, let's move foundation education to be here. Let's move behavioral therapy to be here. Let's move this to be, so what infirmary are we looking at here? I'm looking for, I think this one, right? So we're looking for that, that infirmary right there. So then this, where's the other common rooms that we're looking for? Because aren't we doing something in a common room? Is that not a... Is that not a thing? I could swear. So behavioral therapy in an office. Oh! Oh, behavioral therapy is done in an office. Right. Uh, so it's probably done in this office here. Oh. Yeah, these are one-on-one -on -one sessions. Okay, so what we need to do then is during this time, we need to throw a guard into that office. Okay. That should, no equipment. What do you mean no equipment? What does it need? They need to be able to sit? What? I don't know if I understand this. Alcoholics group therapy led by a psychiatrist in each person. Each prisoner requires a chair. Uh, okay. So if we go in and we say we want to dismantle those and dismantle that and dismantle all this. Um, maybe not dismantle the light. But if we dismantle all of that. And we say that we want to build like a little sitting area up here. That should be fine, right? That should totally work. We just need to get some workers in here to take out the sofas. But that should totally be fine by me. So you guys are going over. You're going to do your thing. Apparently, you're going to have to be let in there, which is fine. So let's do like this sort of thing here. We'll do a couple of those down there. We'll do a couple of those. We'll do a couple of those. Take those out. And we'll do that. So we'll have like a little a little corner there where they can sit and they can have their group therapy and that should be fantastic. I like this. I like that this space is going to get a lot of use. I'm really, I'm really liking that a lot. So let's see, we should have some workers coming down with some chairs pretty soon as well, which will be lovely. There they are. So they're going in there. And I guess we can go to schedule or not. Um, so stop and then go to alcoholics group therapy, edit schedule, and alcoholics group therapy is still not happening. So it can go there, right? And we'll throw it kind of in the middle of the day. So there we go. We have a bunch of people interested. We have a bunch of people wanting behavioral therapy and all that stuff. And uh, we should totally be able to do that, right? Like this, this seems like a pretty good setup down here. It's going to be a thing to get, you know, my, my campers working. It's going to be a thing to get them maybe behaving better. Like that seems like an absolute win to me. I'm also going to just change this entire outer area to be gravel real quick. Because that's a really easy way to get rid of all the trees. And then I'll turn it into grass. So let's prioritize that. Let's get the gravel in there. And I guess we're going to have to wait until the morning to see what exactly is going to happen with this place. But I'm really hoping for good things. I'm going to be honest. I'm, I'm really, really hoping for good things. I'm also thinking that this isn't connected to anything. So dismantle, I guess, because I want this to take priority. I'm going to be honest. The CCTV monitor is kind of more important. So let's just, uh, did I just, I'm pretty sure we just got a warning for like a pickaxe. You know what? Shake down time. Let's go. Let's do a shake down. Make sure no one's trying to escape because in the morning, well, y'all got to go to those classrooms is what you got to do in the morning. 
You're not going anywhere before you start getting some education up in here.